Hey everybody, this is Ryan. Sorry it's been like almost a month since I've uploaded some vlogs, but I do have material available. It just has taken me a little while to edit, put together, and post it up. So um, first we're going to see um, is, is a week where we go out into uh, Battle Creek, Michigan, and we go to a historical site. For my wife and her dad, it's more of a religious site. For But for me, it, it has historical value, and you just could see how people lived like over a hundred years ago so it's uh, really cool information so just uh, we're catching up with with the vlogs and this week is starting right now this is my week now comes quiz time <clears throat> As I said, this equipment was given to us by the Battle Creek Historical Society. Anybody have any idea what this is? No. Uh -huh. Okay, Dal, what is it? I've heard this. I've heard people say snowshoe before. I don't think they have handles on no, it. No, no. I've heard people Someone say a whisk. It, uh, no. um, something in a, in a, in a This is the original Hoover vacuum cleaner. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> They would hang their carpets up on the line and then they'd beat the dust out of them. Now, I just showed you're not as old as I thought you were because nobody knew what this was. Now, this thing here, this is called an ads. Obviously, logs don't grow in the forest square like this. At least they don't here in Michigan. So they would use this. First, they'd cut the log down and then they would square it off with the ads. And as you can see, this is how this cabin was built in the 1850s. Now, of course, if you wanted butter for your toast in the morning, yes. milk your cow, skim your cream off it, put it in the butter churn, get your most energetic child. I know what that is. Yeah, making butter for the family. Now, amazingly, this 1850 cabin has running water. Wow. Wow. Once again, you'd get your most energetic child. <laughs> upon their shoulders, you tell them the well is down in the corner, would you go get a squat? Yeah. Now the flat iron. People that have used the flat iron have told me that they used to always have at least three of these because they cool off quicker than they heat up. Is that true? Yeah. Uh, now, you're, now you're showing your age. <laughs> also had missionaries go through here and they said they had a hollow type that they'd put either charcoal in or twigs. They preferred the charcoal because the twigs would spark and put holes in their garments. So they always tried to keep charcoal on hand. Now back here what we have is the bathtub. Now because of the running water situation, this bathtub would get filled one time for the entire family. The oldest member of the family would take the bath first. And then the next oldest, and then the next oldest, the baby would be the last one taking the bath. Remember again that 39.9 years life expectancy. They were killing their kids, they didn't understand germs. Nowadays we would do it the opposite. Because if you really consider it, chances are pretty good that the oldest member in the family would be the dad. Dad may have been out working on the farm, in the barnyard and stuff. So by the time dad took his weekly bath, you can imagine how dirty the water was for the rest of the family. So that's where the saying came in, don't throw the baby out with the bathroom. Because it might be so dirty you couldn't see that you'd put your <laughs> That's what I call a thin mattress. 
And this is what the men used to wear <laughs> back over 100 years ago. Okay, one thing I want to say before uh, the power goes out is that it's just so interesting to be walking this type of sidewalk because this is a wooden sidewalk. You don't see this very much anymore. I mean, most sidewalks are paved, but it kind of feels like you you get transported back in time, like over a hundred years, just just walking on these little uh, wooden sidewalks that they have here. Just kind of a cool thing to to experience, to feel. There's a. Uh, my wifey and her dad about to walk into the um, Welcome Center building. And so this was it, just to see a historic landmark type of place for the Adventist Church. And yeah. So that's the week, and I'll see you guys next week.